issues. Thankfully, I have my general manager right next to me. Mm. What should we be reading from the fact that they have pushed this deadline back? Matt Ryan's gone, period. They're not going to move it back and say, oh, by the way, on Tuesday, we really want you here. <laughs> so you're looking, and we're looking, we're looking at Deshaun Watson. You're presumably talking to the Cleveland Browns, mm -hmm. who's their quarterback, some guy named Baker Mayfield, we and the Indianapolis Colts. So what's happening right now is they're going to assess their options. And what's really great for Atlanta, you're going to probably come out of this maybe with a first-round pick because the Cleveland Browns and the Indianapolis Colts, two teams that have really good teams right now that want to win right now, Greeny, mm -hmm. will see Matt Ryan as an unexpected opportunity. And when that happens, you're going to pay a premium. The Colts don't have a first-round pick this year. Maybe right. it's a two this year and a one next year. The Browns will be all in because they have a really good team. Mm -hmm. And now, all of a sudden, by Tuesday, I, I would be very surprised if Matt Ryan was a Falcon on Tuesday. And so let's, but actually, let's do all of the math of that. It also means that they have reason to strongly believe they're going to get Deshaun mm -hmm. Watson. Right. If we were running the Falcons, we would not go to Matt Ryan and say, we want to move this back till Tuesday and then expect him to be the quarterback. So someone knows something about how close they are to getting Deshaun Watson. And it's worth pointing out again that Kyle Pitts, the star tight end there in Atlanta, <laughs> posted something about how scary they're going to be mm -hmm. and then took it down and that he and Deshaun Watson have the same agent. Yep. That happened yesterday. So if we're reading tea leaves, and we're not reporting, but we're kind of putting two and two together, it sounds like there's a real chance Deshaun Watson's going to Atlanta. And then where do you think Matt Ryan should want to go if you were in his shoes, can't I'm going with the Indianapolis Colts. Top top 10 offense, top 10 defense, two years in a row. And if you look at Frank Reich, they've had a different scarred quarterback each of the four years he's been there. They've made the playoff twice. And three out of those four years, they've had a winning record. So it seems like it makes all the sense in the world to go to a team that has an offensive line that's built like a brick wall and a defense to support you with playmakers at all three levels. So I think by far... The Indianapolis Colts are a better organization than the Cleveland Browns. There's been more stability there, and that means that's the best landing spot for Matt Ryan. Kmart, what do you think? Uh, I would say Colts, if I'm Matt Ryan, get me out of Atlanta, because because here it's clear that you want Deshaun Watson. Okay, I'll go to a Colts ready versus mate. Browns. Colts versus Browns. See, here's the thing with Deshaun. Like, if this is really about football. Like, the, the Browns are, are, are a good option. Like, if you look at the roster, you talk about organization. The people that run the organization now didn't draft Baker Mayfield. This is a different regime. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, when you talk about roster, you said at the last segment, the Colts and the Browns, like, they, have, they pretty much have a playoff caliber roster, like weapons. All you need is a quarterback. So, I would pick Indy. Uh -huh. Just because of the division is easier. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. the only difference. Let me get Nico in there. If, if you're Matt Ryan and you're looking at those two options uh, and you're thinking, look, the one thing, the only thing I've not accomplished in my career, he's got an MVP, mm -hmm. he's made a ton of money. The one thing he hasn't done is win a Super Bowl. And he was so painfully close in a game, Nico, that you remember well because you played in it. Um, <laughs> yes, yes, sorry. Which, which, <laughs> of those, which of those two places do you think Ryan has a better chance to win it next year, Indy or Cleveland? I'm going with Indy and I said earlier in the show that both of these teams want the same thing and exactly what Matt Ryan can give them and that's a accurate passer down the field on third down you know if you're if you're both of these teams you've had quarterbacks that can hand the ball off what you need is somebody that can complete a pass accurately down the field and also observe what the defense is showing you and check to the appropriate play you know this past season, both of those teams had to kind of babysit the quarterback and help them in those decision-making processes. You know, Matt Ryan is your prototypical pocket quarterback, old-school guy that can make all the checks. He can run the offense. He's been in the league so long, and I've played against him many times. He is a really hard quarterback to prepare for because he's that smart. So, mm -hmm. you know, if I'm the Colts, I'm going after Matt Ryan because Matt Ryan, you know, obviously he's a dome team guy. He's been in a dome. He's played inside his whole career. He goes to Cleveland. He's playing in the elements. He's playing outside. It might be raining and cold, and, and I just think oh, it's a mm -hmm. better fit for him to go to a dome team. Indianapolis, they have the running game. You know, they have the offensive line. They have the defense. It's all set up for Matt Ryan to go mm -hmm. there and be successful. I like it. Canty. And Greeny, just to put a bow on this Colts point, the Colts right now have the most cap space of any team in the National Football League. So if you're Matt Ryan, if you do get traded there, there's the opportunity to be involved in the process of putting the supporting cast around you that's going to allow you to play up to your potential. And that's important for a quarterback that's in his late 30s. So give me the, 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 the finishing touch here. How are you handling this? If you're the GMs here, how are you playing this right this minute? Well, if, it's really an arms race. He's like the last best guy, so I'm not getting yeah. off the phone if I'm Chris Ballard or if I'm Andrew Berry from the Colts and uh, the Browns. Now, 
the, the guy that has most risk right now is the Falcons because what happens if they don't get Watson and he goes to the Saints and now you're so far down the road with Matt Ryan leaving, now all of a sudden you may not have a quarterback and you don't have great options. Well, that's why I began the conversation by asking you, does this, the fact that they pushed this back super quickly, does that suggest to you they think or even know they're getting Deshaun? Yes, because there's no other option. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.